Today we're going to look at AWR's ACE technology in a printed circuit board flow. In this example, I have a nominal PCB design, presumably for a wireless base station application, where we have a transceiver chip over here driving the RF transmit chain uh, through a variety of components such as balance, power amplifier, a low pass filter implemented on the board with surface mount devices, and a TR switch. One of the things you'll notice is that in this design we have no explicit microstrip modeling the interconnects everywhere. And we've done this because we'd like to look at an RF design style where we can forego the initial impact of the interconnects and pick them up later. Now traditionally this design flow would have been done with an EM tool, but here we're going to use the ACE technology because it'll provide us some parametric insight and a circuit level understanding of what's going on rather than just getting a mess of S parameters, which would uh, give us little hope of trying to understand uh, how to fix our circuit if anything were to go wrong. I've uh, gone ahead and already simulated the design and you can see that we nominally get about 20 d 28 dB of gain uh, for the uh, transmit chain from the TR, uh, from the transceiver chip to the antenna. Uh, what we're going to do now in the schematic is turn on the extraction capability which basically as you can see here is associated with each one of the nets coming out of the transceiver chip and all the way up to our TR switch and when we enable that what's going to happen is that instead of treating the interconnects as shorts we're going to go ahead and do an extraction of them uh, if you're not familiar with AWR's extract technology I'd recommend that you go to uh, the examples and look at some of those uh, uh, let's look at the, some of those examples and get a feel for what that capability is. But essentially what we're doing now is we're including the metal in the design and we're creating a model of that metal with an extraction. Here we're showing all the metal being extracted in this design. We're uh, including that metal now in the uh, results or uh, through the ACE technology and we can see that the gain has nominally dropped from 28 to uh, just under 26. Now what's gone on in, in uh, modeling this is as I showed earlier we took out all the metal and we see it here in this picture but what ACE has done effectively is gone from that dumb metal if you will that's just connecting things together and it's actually extracted a circuit level model of what's going on. If you look closely you can see in this annotated view that on these lines now we're modeling them as microstrip lines and we can tell ACE to go ahead and model such things as the crossovers. You can see there's little capacitors here. I know it's hard to see. The vias are also modeled as well. But we can also instruct it to start modeling some of the couplings. And in particular, over here, which is where our low-pass filter is, we can see that instead of just dumb metal in our low-pass filter uh, structure, we have T-junctions and lines uh, and no coupling yet, but we'll include that here in a minute. What ACE does effectively is create a schematic or a netless based view of all this metal and it reuses the very same models that a designer would have used uh, if they had all the patience to go ahead and create a schematic for that. And here is uh, what that netless looks like extracted from uh, the PC board. And In fact you can see all the MLINs as I scroll through this, some strip line models, uh, some coupled line models as well. Many of these coupled line models uh, that we're using actually contain EM solvers built directly into them and so you get a very uh, high degree of fidelity uh, with, uh, without having to run complete EM analyses. So uh, let's go focus in on this um, on the, uh, on the uh, low pass filter now and we'll see what we can uh, learn from what's going on in the low pass filter and hopefully fix up this design and get back to our nominal gain uh, so what I'm going to do now is open up the extraction for the low pass filter and I showed you briefly what that looks like for the uh, for the whole uh, design but now let's look at the low pass filter metal in detail and I'll bring up the uh, extracted circuit view and we can zoom in on it and you can see that uh, in this extraction at this level uh, we also have a coupling that was included that we didn't find on the original and again you can see the lines and the T's and we can go and pull up the net list for this and see precisely what's being extracted and you can see that we have some T junctions I'm using the AWRX models these are EM based table models uh, that are extremely fast and in fact if we look at the same status window we can see that ACE did this extraction in about a third of a second compared to perhaps minutes or hours that it would have taken EM analysis. 
So we can see that the effect of adding the metal to the design has shifted the response of our filter. And in fact, if we go back and let's turn this off for a second and pull up the filter performance specification. You can see the nominal performance of the filter. before the extraction and we'll freeze the graph and then we'll turn the extraction back on and re-simulate. And we can see that the filter has shifted quite a bit due to the extracted metal. Now what we can do is because we have this insight, we can actually go in and start redesigning the filter. And just from experience, I know that what we really need to do is decrease the shunt capacitance here. And in doing this, we will be able to get back roughly to the performance that we had previously without extracting the metal. But of course, extracting the metal is the proper thing to do. And looking at the net list, uh, that was extracted for the LPF uh, the low pass filter, we could, uh, with enough experience, understand that what's happening is that we're getting additional capacitance that uh, we don't we don't any longer need in our components, and thereby allowing us to reduce the component value capacitance in the design and get back to our nominal performance. And indeed, when we do this, if we uh, go back to our performance for the uh, transmit chain in general, we've actually uh, gotten a little bit better than our 28 dB of gain back. So in this application, I hope you've seen how quickly ACE is able to analyze rather complex or even rather simple uh, metallization modeling issues in a whole lot less time than EM analysis while providing some insight into uh, what's going on in your circuit by providing that circuit level representation of the interconnects. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more about uh, about ACE or try it out for yourself, contact your local AWR sales representative.